Okay, Nesiv Shalom on Rosh Hashanah, Maim Sheni. And I'm going to go very fast in the beginning because he repeats a lot of the things that he did in Maim Rishon, and then he like continues from there. So I'm going to go very fast in the beginning. Aleph, in Nechemia, in Sefer Nechemia, it says, V'yem, in Nechemia, L'chol Ha'am, Ha'yem Kadoshu L'Hashem Alekeichem. Al Tasablu V'al Tifku, today's a holy day before Hashem. Don't be uh, Mis'abel. Don't mourn and don't cry. They were crying when they heard the Torah. And he said, no, don't cry. Eat fatty foods. Make a steak. Have sweet drinks. And give gifts to people who aren't worthy or who don't have. It's a holy day before Hashem. Don't mourn. Don't be depressed. Because the Chedva of Hashem, the glory of Hashem, is Mu'uzchem, that's what's going to help you out. So, the delight of Hashem. The delight of Hashem will help you. Now, Pirish Rashi, Now, they heard that it's Rosh Hashanah, they realized that they were messed up, they started crying, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Instead, he tells them, don't cry, go party, because Chedvas Hashem, whatever that is, Hi Mu'uzchem, that is what's going to help you out. One, v'yesh lahaven. Ma kavanas oimra aleim shaloi yifku v'lo yatsu ki im yismuchu. What's pshat that he told them, don't cry and don't be depressed. In fact, you should, on the contrary, be happy. Halei mikim and shem rosh hashanahu b'vada yesh lahem livkois ala shaloi kimu es ha-tayra. They should have cried if they didn't keep the Torah. So why you, you finally gave a drasha, the mashkiach gives a drasha in yeshiva, and it's effective, and people are feeling bad about their mistakes. And he says, no, 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 wait, wait, that's not what I want. Why? They should. If a person doesn't cry on Yom Neiraim, it shows So why did he tell him don't cry? You have to cry too. The Yushalmi says on the Pasuk, What a great nation we are. What kind of a nation like we have? A person knows he has a judgment. He dresses in black. He covers himself in black. And they're all depressed because they're going to get sentenced. But so we are not like that. What do we do in the face of Din? Levish levanim, levanim. We dress in white. We masatim levanim. We cover ourselves in white. We magachum sarum. We take a haircut. We dress up great. Va'oichlum b'shoisu dusmechim b'yoyim shakadosh baruch hu oisa lehem neis. God is going to do a miracle for me. I'm. I know this is not somebody who goes into the Amadin that knows that he's Reb Chaim Kanievsky and he has more schusim and no averis or more schusim than averis and he can go proud. He's proud when he knows that. I have no reason to be proud, but Hashem is going to do a miracle for me. Even though the whole thing is about me messing up and rebelling against Hashem and not listening to Hashem, and still I could have betachin in the face of that, that Hashem will do a miracle for me. From this Yerushalmi, it sounds like it's just a, a joke. Just a joke. You shouldn't have any pachad from the din. You don't cry. You, the Yerushalmi is saying, Hashem is going to do an ace. Ha ha, everything's great. I, you did this Avera and that Avera and that Avera. I don't care. I'm partying. I'm fine. I'm going to walk into that Din Torah Rosh Hashanah with a big smile on my face because Hashem is going to do a miracle for me. Tzadikim say on Rosh Hashanah, you shouldn't even think in your mind any chet. Ela levtoyach bechazde Hashem Yisbarach. I am Avodi Sisrael from the Kajan Samagad, Uvat Haris Avis, Mi Mamare, Rosh Hashanah. Tzadikim say, don't even think about it, don't even talk about Chet. You have Betachin in the Chesed of Hashem. And the more worse you are, the more Chesed you need. And Hashem is Baal Chesed, so he's unlimited in Chesed. What are you worried about? Umar and Baal Yisrael Avodi Sisrael, Yom 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 Kasaf. The Yisrael Avodi, the Friyadika Slanam Rebbe, said, there was a, a uh, like a pearls of wisdom in the mouth of Rav Nachman of Lechavich. Oh, 
What did he walk around saying? Chedves Hashem himo uschem. The chedva, the delight of Hashem, that is what's going to save us. Ratzaloymer, simcha v'goydol nachas ruach, l'fnei Hashem izbarach. What is this tremendous nachas ruach and simcha before Hashem? Hu masha'atem choyshvim, hu maminem v'chesed Hashem izbarach, asher hu ma'uzeinu, that he is our helper, v'zeh hu ma'uzchem. Chedvas Hashem, the delight of Hashem is the fact that we say that we know that Hashem is going to give us chesed and He's going to give us a great year. We believe in your chesed. We believe that you're a Baal chesed. And He Mu'uzchem, that is actually what creates that He should help us. When a person goes before a rich person and he goes to them and he says, I know that you're such a Baal chesed. I know, Birbirus, I know as a fact that you have the ability to help me. And you're going to help me, even though you helped me last month, and I took the money and I lost it, but I know that you are an unlimited Baal Chesed, and therefore I don't even have one doubt in your Chesed. That is Ma'orer, the Chesed, that the person should want to give this person. We need to understand this. That what is the main, the main grasp of the day? It's scary. It's scary. It's awesomely scary. That every single remembrance of everything that we did comes up before Hashem. And we have to have the Yisoyed on our Amuna is Ki Abayre Yisbarach Shemoi Goy Multoy V'lishayim in Mitzvah Yisoy 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 We have to believe that there's not a joke over here. That when there is a, that whatever we do good, we're going to get paid. And whatever we do bad, we're going to get paid. We're going to get punished. What is the pesher? What is the explanation? The pshat? In this betachan, security. In spite of komas doesn't make any sense. And this is what every, we are brought up, right? Not to understand this. You know, you, you messed up. Hashem is judging you. And now I sinned against God and I have to have chesed. Hashem is going to do chesed with me. Ha ha. He doesn't care. He's just, because I have faith in him, he's just going to not care about all the averis that I do. It doesn't make any sense. That's the end of Ois Aleph. Is everybody with me? Ois Beis. Vihine Isa Betairis Avas. In Tyrus Avis, Tyrus Avis is the Sefer that the Slanama Rebbe wrote, that the Nesiva Shalom wrote after the Holocaust, I think he wrote it, which has all of the previous Slanama um, dynasty, little little Vertluch, that he quotes them, and he put it together so it should be a memory of their Svarim, because a lot of them didn't have any Svarim. In the Isa Tyrus Avis, Peshe Marna, Harav, Moshe Mikubrin, who is the Heilige Kubrina, Aleinu. This is from way up, uh, probably a grand Talmud of the Baal Shem Tev. And he says, Tshuva to repent and to fix all of our bad deeds was supposed to be done in Chaydish Elu. Avu Baruch Hashana, there's a different tafkid. A tafkid hu lahamlech kuch b'richu akol ever ve'ever delay. The tafkid of Rosh Hashana is to be mamlech, to anoint, to make Hashem our king over every single ever of our being. Every limb of ourselves. Like we said before in Mamarishan, the Muchuk Mikal Tilsa Shoshana, Shehem Ayisai Chikov Chazal, the Mohus Kadusha Sayyim, Ki Ikra Avoid the Sayyim, Eno Minyani Tikino Avar, the Kibos Havaino, is Elo Inin Shalam Amlochas Kuchibrihu. Like we said before, that if you look at the Tfilis, you don't see anything about, um, we don't say Achetz on Rosh Hashanah, we don't see anything about the day. That was Anshe Knesset Agdailu or Masak in the Tfilos that talks about any tikkun ha'avar and kibbutz ha'avain. and cleansing ourselves from sin. What is the Indian of all the Tfilos for Simlai Chata Hashem Lekene Meher Levadecha Kamasecha and all this kind of talk that Hashem is the Melech Hamelech Hakadosh ve'im tzarech lahamlicha yizbar Hashem akala elam kulei. And if the day of Rosh Hashanah, our goal, our tafket is to be Mamlech Hashem, and our Tfilos are saying, Oy Hashem, I want you to be the king over the whole universe. You want Hashem to be the whole world should have you as king. So if that's what you want, first we have to make Hashem your king. To be mishabed yourself, to make yourself mishubed to the rules of, of, of the relationship and to be mavatal ourselves to Hashem. If we can't be mavatal ourselves, then how can we want the whole world to be mavatal themselves to Hashem? In the Sefer Priya Aretz it says, Ki inyin shana and this is a really beautiful thought. We have we have Shana and we have Chaydish. But in the Ailama Yainim, in Shemayim, they have no time. They have no watches. 
So what does Shana mean? Shana comes from the Lashon of Shinui, to renew. And Chaydish is the Lashon of Eschachos, of Chidush, of renewing. Behainu Shazman Masugu Lase Shinui, I'm sorry, the Shana is a, is a Lashon of Shinui, which means to change. And Chaydish is a Lashon of Chidush, to renew. So now that we're at the beginning of a year, so the, the, the goal is that we should renew ourselves, we should renew our commitment, we should be Mechadish, our commitment with Hashem. We go throughout the year, we float, we don't make any massive changes about ourselves, because we take ourselves and we try to bend it this way, bend it that way. We get bent out of shape, or we bend ourselves into shape. But we're not making any massive major changes. But when it comes to the beginning of a year, which is a shana, a new year, is a lashon of shinui, and it's a new month, so it's a time for us to change who we are. In other words, not, not to say, okay, that's, you know, based on the way I acted yesterday, this is who I am, let me take a little step. No, who says that's the way I am? I can change everything about me and renew myself from scratch. Because of Sham Oid, and he says in the Pre-Aritz Vaiter, She'im yesh bechines hamavra amidaisa mavri in layakal b'shav, we know that the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah says that someone is mavra amidaisa, he goes over, he extends himself past his own midos. Right? He wants to get angry, and he doesn't get angry. He wants to be upset at somebody, he says, no, I'll be mavater. What happens? Mida Kenegan Mida, the Gemara says, Mavir and Leal Kob Shav. They are Mavir on all of your Averis, which, by the way, if you're on the way to Shul and somebody does something terrible to you, or someone's sitting in your seat, or somebody gets you upset, it's sometimes Hashem gives you a situation that He wants you to have the chance of Mavir and Leal Kob Shav. So a lot of times when it comes to the Yom Neiram, things go wrong and people get upset. Oh, this guy was in my seat, or how could you say this to me? You insulted me. You don't realize you're get, being given a chance to delete all of your Averis. Hamavir al Midaisav. You are angry, you want to give someone a psak, you want to do something, whatever, and mavir lo yakob shav. If you control yourself, mavir lo yakob shav. Achin, mikim and shurak mavir, he went, I really want to get angry. I'm really upset, but I'm going to control myself. The lo shina is somebody, I didn't change myself that I'm not even angry. That's why who I didn't shirak mavir mi So they're going to overlook your aver. Shuk my disa shama gemara milashin mavir shaavin atzma inin nimchak. Yeah, it's still on your record, but you didn't get angry at the person who deserved for you to get angry at. So we're not going to get angry at you for having this aver, but it's still in our system. Achiyash bechinis mishana midaisav. The Gemara says, Mavir Amidaisav. What about Mishan Amidaisav? Mishayu Sharal Amikara Akadusha. A person could change who he is. That not that I want to do that and now I'm going to control myself, but I don't want to do that anymore because I rose and I changed and I morphed myself into something greater, into something bigger. When I do that, I'm Mishan Amidaisav. I change my, my, mid, my core midas from the Shevish of Ra, from being connected to the source of Ra, Lamakar Kedusha. Shemachnes Chayzik Eish Avaydasai, the Avasai Lahavas Hashem. How do I change myself? I cleanse myself by embracing and bringing into myself a tremendous Eish Avaydasai, the Avasai Lahavas Hashem. A fire of my avoda. I'm davening, I'm learning, I'm, I'm kaching. I'm kaching with my Ahava to Hashem. That changes who you are. Okay, he's bringing out the Gemara. The Gemara says, and it's a Rambam that says, how, what is considered the best kind of tshuva? The terrors of the best kind of tshuva is that you are in the same matziv and you pass. Now, if you think about it, it's not really fair. Because when you're in that same matziv, right, so it's the most against you because you already fell once and you're in the same situation again, so it's easiest to fall again. Yes. When I'm in the same matziv that I fell once and now I don't fall, that actually changes who I am. That, that fixes the fence that was broken. And therefore, it changes the Mida of Kedusha to Kedusha. It's an opportunity. And then, Zdainis Nasalei Kaschuyis, the Aver becomes a mitzvah. He brings out in a different place that it's like not fear. Don't give the guy the same challenge. No, when a person ends up in the same place again, it's actually that Hashem is giving him a chance, not just to be oymed in Nisayin like any other Nisayin, but because it's oysa isha, oysa isman, oysa makam, because this is the exact same thing that went wrong last time in your life. When you get this Avera challenge, you are actually giving an opportunity to be Misak in the last time, which is unbelievable. 
What's going on in Rosh Hashanah? What are we supposed to be accomplishing? You know what he says? You know what it's supposed to accomplish? Lastly, Shinui Be'etzem Hamohos. To change who we are. Shehoyim Mikoidem, before Rosh Hashanah, we were Tachas Shiltun Umaris Sitra Achra. We were under the rulership of the Sitra Achra, of the other side of evil. He controls who I am, he controls how I act, and I'm getting little wars, I try to be better, and little wars, he wins, and I win, and he wins, and I win. But now Rosh Hashanah comes, I say, I used to work for the other side, and now I'm being mamlich on myself, Hashem is going to determine how I react, Hashem is going to determine who I am, and to change myself in a major way. But the cleansing and the fixing of the past, the time for that is It's not the time on Rosh Hashanah. Because on Rosh Hashanah, when I'm supposed to be Mamel Hashem on me and change my Mahus, if I'm busy with Tikkunim on the Avar, I won't get the job done. So you do it before Rosh Hashanah, and you do it again in Aseris Yimei Tshuva because Yom Kippur is the major cleansing day. But Rosh Hashanah, the Tafkit is to bond and bind myself to Hashem in a deeper level than we could do during the year. Now we can see Pshat in the Pasuk. The Torah says that you are all standing before Hashem. The Isa B'sfar Maktoshim, the Zayra says, Shemiram is al yomid adina, Kisha atem is yatsam lodin lifan aviz barach. That this Pasuk, atem nitzavam hayoyim, is talking about the hayoyim of Rosh Hashanah, that every year we are nitzavam, we are standing before God. So If you look at the Psukim, blah 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 blah. And what's the point of it? It's La to pass through the covenant with Hashem Alekecha Ashekarisimach. Kol Rosh Hashanah who bechinas krisus bris mechudeshes ben kudsha brichu v'yisrael. The whole concept of Rosh Hashanah is the concept is to create the covenant between to renew the covenant between kudsha brichu v'yisrael between Hashem and us. K'moish Yikosav l'man hakem oischa hayoyim loy laam to establish today, which is going to Rosh Hashanah, that we should be His nation. The ikar avodis hayoyim. And what's the main service of the day of Rosh Hashanah? The Chadesh Hadvekus v'Habris ben Kutcher Berichu v'Yisrael al Yedei Shehudi Mavatal Atzmi Ka'ain Ka'efes Knegdo Yisbarach by Yedei Zen Nim Token May Love Kol Adinim by renewing our relationship with Hashem, our commitment to Hashem, that makes us Mavatal ourselves that we are going to follow Hashem and we're nothing without Hashem. We work for the kingdom. That is what is mamtik, what sweetens up all the dinim. Because by renewing our commitment to Hashem at a higher level, therefore, memela, all of the dinim become sweet. Everything that happens bad to a person is only when you're mafsik from Zvekas Bashem. I want to throw in here, like we know that David Amalek needed to die and the Yitzhahara couldn't get to him because he was busy learning. So he made something, I think a tree fell or something. He was mafsik from Dvekos, and that's how he killed him. So a person, anything bad that happens to a person is only when you are disconnected from Hashem. That's why the Sfarim say that when a person is in a matzav of Sakana, you start saying, and Enoid Movadoi connects you to Hashem. If you're connected to Hashem, Mela, nothing bad could happen to you. There's no Midas Adin that can rule over you. If we know that my connecting to Hashem puts me in this kind of a, a, a bubble of, of, of health and of protection from Hashem, then the din of Rosh Hashanah cannot reach me, even though the din is what I did in the past to rebel against Hashem, but now I run to Hashem, like the Pasuk says in Tehillim, I run away from you to you. There's a beautiful shmuz from... From, 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 I just forgot his name. But anyway, he talks about this thing that the Pasuk says, I run away from you, Eilecha. We run away from Hashem. We're scared of the din. We're running away. But where do we run? Eilecha, we run to Hashem. By connecting to Hashem, therefore we get protected from Hashem. And that, the greatest protection from the din is by being revatal ourselves to Hashem.
Gimel. Now you saw it, and this girl ill you were gam in shnei ayom the Rosh Hashanah shem biyachad ki yom arichta. Now we're going to understand why the two days of Rosh Hashanah are really one long day. Kfar huk shemal zeb zfar magdoshim ech shayech shnei bechinas roish. How could you have two types of head? You can't have two heads. There's only one head. Achin murum is bezal shnei amidos hayisaidis mikol amidos shabat adam. The hainu ahava v'yira. It's murum is to the two midos of every person. Ahava and yira. Love and, and being scared. Love and fear. Elutrin samchin kshait. It's the two, the two pillars of truth. Shalei and boni kol mavnehu harachni. It's what's on, on two pillars of, of strength, of truth, that we build all of our ruchnis on those things. On the one hand, we have Ahava, and the other hand, we have Yira. Chazal say that, Chazal say that, and Yilacha was spoken in one Dibur, whatever that means. But how does it mean one, one, one Dibur? Pshat is, it's flip side of one coin. It's two sides of one coin. Anoichi when it says, Anoichi Hashem it's flip side of one coin. It's two sides of one coin. Anoichi, when it says, Anoichi Hashem, I am your God, who shows Kometzis Hasei, Hainu Midas Ahava. And Layilacha, don't have other gods, is Sherish Kalmut Sislaisa say the Hainu Yira. Vachain Zachar Vishamar Bidibrecha Nemu. It says Zachar Vishamar in the two Luchas, one says Zachar, one is Shamar, it's Bidibrecha, Zacharu Ahava, remember, right, remember me is coming from love. Shamar, beware, is Lashon Yira. So they're both working at the same time. Remember that I am Yashem, Hashem, Anoichi Hashem Alekecha, and therefore Layilacha. Do the good things and don't do the bad things. Zachar is Yem Shabbos and Shamar. Both things, remember to, to sanctify yourself and to do the positive things, and beware not to do the bad things. That's what the, that's what the Chazal say. What is Bez Reishis? How do you have two Reishis? Shnei Hamidus Halolu, Ahav of Yir, Shnei Mbechinas Reish. Ahav of Yir, Reish, Ki Ahav of Gedolim Yira. Ahava love is the beginning of Rosh because Ahava is greater than Yira. And Yira, he begins Rosh, because he's the Bezayir HaKadosh. Kuda Kadma, the first thing that you count, Da Yira Sashem. The first thing is Yira Sashem. Kamoy Dixiv, Rosh is Chachma, Yira Sashem. Ubkuda Tanina, and the second thing that comes, Da Ahava Sashem. Buzu begins Shnei Ayom, and Shosh Hashan, Shnei Am Rosh. Hainu Kabbalah's Om HaChoshmaim, Shnei Amidus. Yoi Marish, Nu begins Yira, Val Kain, Hava Din and Koshim. That's why Chazal say that it's Din Koshin, it's a more of a shvera day because it's it's a bechin of yira. The yom sheni u bechin is a hava, the hava din in rifin, and it's a softer din. Kedisha b'sfar makdashim. Kimi she yesh lo ischus. Person who has a schus don't an oisah be yom sheni. She also din in rifin. Person has a schus, they judge him on the second day because they, there the din is softer. V'shneim yachad bechin is reish. And that's a, together they're both a bechin of reish hashana. V'abir b'zal yisrael do amor she ikar avodah sayom hu advekas b'shem. Now we could explain this according to what we said before that the main avoda of the day. What's the avoda? We're gonna have we're gonna have forty eight hours. What are we meant to do? The ikar avoda of the day is dveikos Hashem, to connect to God, connect your being to Hashem. The ikar advekos while yidei b'shnei mitz elu one al yidei mitz ahava she mekasheres as haoyev vehanehav. The love is what connects the two people who love each other. The one who loves and the, on each side, that's connected with what? How do you bond with, between a chassan and kala, a man and a wife, or two friends? How do you bond? You bond with the midah vahava that connects the two of you, which is very strong. Two, b'chein shayich dveikus, b'midah sayira. You could also connect through the midah of yira. The av shebekol yira gashmis l'shayich and yin dveikus. Even though when it comes to gashmis in the physical world, yira is the opposite of dveikus. You can't connect to someone when you're scared of them. The more you're scared of someone, the more distant you are from them. He etzem ahos hayira, he shen nasug mi panav. The etzem, pshat of yira is that I want to run away from you. I'm scared of you. K'may d'chseh v'asal da b'chila, that I, I, I pull away from you. I, I think it comes from uh, um, like you, you touch something, right? On Shabbos, it scorches you, it hurts you. And from my fear of you, I, I want to run away from you. When it comes to Yiras Hashem, but when it comes to Yiras Hashem, it brings you to us because I'm so scared of you. Therefore, I connect to you because I'm a vatal myself to you. There's a Bechina of Yira that is higher than all loves. All levels of love. She bistaklusa shayish moitze has sagasa imita yisbarach nivol mipanav liyos nisbarach hamashpia buhu amakabel shekain derech kol amakabel mishenivholim. When you go ahead and you focus into it, 
you get into such a place that you're so scared and you so mavatal yourself because you realize that Hashem is mashpia everything and you're nothing. And therefore, you, beca- you get connected. It's like you're mavatal and you become a part of the mashpia. You have so nothingness that you're actually a, a chilek of Hashem. That the person who's receiving from the person who's giving, is so full of this feeling, ki ele that he has nothing without this, like a person on a respirator, that he realizes without the respirator, I can't breathe, I'm nothing without this, v'shum chiyos b'li ha I can't exist without the mashpia, and therefore you're connected, v'rega shetifsek, chas v'shalom ha-shba, ein le chiyos klal, in the second that I'm mafsik from this ha the second, if the, the respirator is disconnected, I have no chiyas at all. Hashem, you're being mechayas. Just like a leaf, that it's constantly getting its yanika from the eights, from the tree. As soon as it's going to be disconnected, it falls to the ground. The leaf is gone, it's dead. Just a matter of time, but it's going to be dead because it's nifsak me hachios. The hayoy shehat biya Hashem is baruch bebria, because Hashem ingrained into the bria. She called dava sheish by ruach chios ha pachet agadol biyoyse shelo yhu me av sakas hachios. Anything that has that is alive. Anything that has a spirit of life, the greatest fear that that thing has is fear that I'm not going to live anymore. Like we are scared of death. The root of this fear is really a connection to Hashem, realizing that you are the one who's giving me chios. And it will create more connection. This is chachos of the bris that we're talking about. That happens on Rosh Hashanah in Kudshu Bichu Yisrael. Shehi his patlus vadvekus by Hashem. It is a giving over of Yisrael. That you are mabatli yourself to and connecting to Hashem. On the one hand, I love you so much, and I love Hashem. So, I love, I'm so connected to Otayr and Mitzvahs and Avodas Hashem. I, it brings such a love that I love you and I want to be good to you, and I'm therefore connected to you. And I'm scared of you. I'm so scared of you because I know that you are giving me everything. Without you, I'm nothing. And therefore, I have to do what you want, and I want to do what you want. And the fear creates connection. Okay, we all know this. Three books are opened up in Rosh Hashanah. If you're a Tzadik Gamor, right away you're signed, you live. Rosham Gamorim, Nechtav Nechman Ma'atel Misa, Uvein and Im Tluyim Va'im Dim, Aksiva Vachasim Alachayim. The tzaddikim. What's pshat in the writing and the stamping of chayim of life for tzaddikim? Hainu al yideishim istabek mechadosh b'shoyish u'mekor hachayim hanitzchim because they are renewing their contract, renewing their dveikus, their will, their desire that they're going to connect to the shoyish u'mekor of chayim, the eternal life, which is Hashem. And therefore, they get the Yenika from being connected to the Makar Chaim, just like the leaf that is renewing its hold onto the tree, that I'm going to hold on and hang on, I'm going to be connected to this force of life, and therefore, he lives. Because of their bad ma'asim nifsika advekos, it disconnects them from being connected to Hashem. And their yunika and their chios and their life. Just like a leaf that disconnects itself from the tree, it's going to it's going to fade away. It's going to die. Ah, you're going to say, what are you talking about? We don't find all the Rishayim dying every year. Why the Rishayim Gemurim live long years? Whatever. Okay, we'll go to skip over here. Bottom line is that that he's explaining over here that this is the din. But Lamaisa, they end up living because they're connected to a different source, a source of the Sitra Achra, and the Yitzhahara keeps them alive to work for him, and he, they get bought by the other side. It's not for us to understand. The point is, he's addressing the question that we would all be thinking that, come on, what do you mean, Rishon is, is, is they die? They don't die. 
Teretz is they die from the Kedusha, they get disconnected, and it's very hard for them to come back and t- unless they re- reattach themselves, become Bali Chuva, they get opportunities to do so. In the meantime, what's keeping them alive is they're getting money into their bank account from the bad guys, and therefore they have a contract with the bad guys, etc., etc. Not Negea to us. What does it mean that the middle guys, which is us, most people, are tuluyim, they're hanging and standing. It's like the leaf that's hanging on a little bit. We're holding on like with one hand. The connection to the dveikos of Hashem, the dveikos that we have with Hashem, is not strong enough. The Chaim and the, and, and the Misa have to do with how connected you are to Hashem. When you're connected to Hashem and you love Him, Mimela, you're doing more mitzvahs. Mimela, you have Yira and you're doing less Averis. But it's not about the mitzvahs and the Averis. It's about renewing your commitment with both hands. I'm going to hang on to Hashem. I want to be close to Hashem. So if we were not so connected to Hashem. A lot of times in the day we don't think about Hashem. A lot of times we do things we're not worried about Hashem. And we're just not living a life where we are connected as much as we could be. Hashem gives us the chance to jump up and to say from now on we are going to reconnect. And when we reconnect we put ourselves in the same group of the tzaddikim that we're connected all along. And that's Pshat and that's Tshuva, that we get to act and renew ourselves. Now it could be that tzaddik actually after Yom Kippur could, could keep on holding on. And maybe we could only hold on for 5 days, for 10 days, for 20 days, for 30 days, and we're going to let go. That's only because we're not strong enough. That doesn't matter. When it comes to Yom Kippur, we have to jump up and be holding on to that bar, the same as all the tzaddikim. And if we do, we get exactly based on the tzaddikim, because Hashem doesn't say, oh, I'm not giving you the same judgment as that guy, because you're holding on, but you're really not able to hold on because you're weaker than them, and later you're going to fall. Later you're going to fool. You'll deal with that next year. Hashem judges you by Asher Husham. And if you jump up and you walk into Yom Kippur after the Seir Semei Tshuva, the same Dveikos holding on with both hands, one hand Ahava, one hand Yira, connected, thinking about Hashem, being Metabek, connecting yourself to Hashem through davening and through learning, remembering that everything is to connect to Hashem, then you comes Yom Kippur and you are the same as Reb Chaim Kanievsky. Hey, Kamai Kain Indi Natakias, who are Pid Varenu, and Niskali Il, Shavoy the Sayem Shoshoshana, who Bishnami, the Sahab of Yira, Shiyu Lashem is Barach, Bishal Yodam Nagia, Ludvegas Bashem. So to the Indian of the Kias, this is beautiful, the Indian of the Takias is also using both hands, Ahava and Yira, in order to get both hands and connect with full Dvegas to Hashem. The Mashmai is at Takias Motinu Bishnei Fadam. The idea of the Takias, we have two different concepts. One, Bechinas Yira. It's scary. Will the shofar blow in the city and the people will not get scared? It used to be that when there was a war and there was an attack coming, they would blow the shofar to wake everybody up. That was the, They didn't have any alarms. They, this was the alarm. And everybody would get mamish gripped in fear that they, they might be slaughtered, they might be killed. And that's the tachos of the shofar. When we hear the shofar, we get gripped in fear. Number two, Bechinis Ava, Kamoi de Isa, Shatkias Heim Bechinis Hachroza Al Hischacha Samalucha, Kamoi Machusa de Ara, Shetoikin Mishafis Beis Achtar Samelech. And the other Pshat is that Beis, in the time of the Achtar of Amelech, when we go ahead, when they used to go ahead and anoint a king, they would blow Shafer. The Shafer blowing also is a Shtaltz is a, a kind of, of calling out on the eschatches of the Melucha of Hashem. We anoint Hashem as king, and therefore we blow the tkiyas to show that Hashem is the king. So we have two separate things going on. One thing is I'm scared because I'm hearing the tkiyas, and the other one is malchus, malchus dik, that they're blowing it and I stand straight and I do a, a tension, a ten hut, and I'm looking up to the, towards the, 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 the new malchus of Hashem. And we have both of them in the Pasuk. Number one, When there is a Muhammad coming, you're being attacked. When you're attacked by your enemy, blow the Chatzaytzeres. And two, What do you do? One, one part of the Tkiyah is a deep 
emotional groan and moan that comes out of the Lev Yehudi, when he goes ahead and he inspects his matzah, the situation which is so low, and he begs Hashem, please don't throw me away from you. And this groan, it busts through all of the walls. But number two, we're also happy that we're having a new inauguration of Hashem as our King. And we're also through our faith in our end in our victory that's going to be in the end. That in the end, the Hashem's love for us is going to conquer any love that Hashem has for Din. He's quoting over here a famous Zayir HaKadosh that we've learned many times. Hashem loves his children more than he loves justice. So all of that is fine and dandy about how Rosh Hashanah is such a beautiful, holy, amazing day which you connect to Hashem through Ahava and through Yira and it's not about the past and it's not about forgiveness on the past it's about being Mamlech Hashem I'll call Ever Ve'ever Delay it sounds like beautiful there's only one problem we're human beings and it doesn't always work but to the person who knows his bitter situation and his low situation, how hard it is this to skip over the past, make believe that that, that whole year didn't happen, and to have such a high madrega of avoidus Hashem, bedveikus v'spatlus Hashem, ulahamlech kuchbicha kol ever ve'ever delay. It's really hard, even though he's telling you that it's not about. It doesn't matter what you did last week and, and two months ago and eight months ago. It doesn't matter. You're coming in fresh and clean. Have betachin in Hashem that He is going to go ahead and stamp you with the with with the with the tzaddikim and everything is wonderful and beautiful and great. He says, but come on, it's hard to do that. It's it, not just hard to do tshuva, but it's hard to even to get a freebie. He's kind of giving you, giving us a, a, a get out of jail card and telling you walk in there and be happy and proud like you're one of the tzaddikim. But you know what? That's hard. Just jump over and and face Hashem. And the truth is, the people, so many people that don't want to, they're doing so many averis and especially kids off the derech and all of that. They're scared of Rosh Hashanah. They don't want to go to shul. But even if you tell them, listen, you can walk in and ched vas Hashem hima uschem. The glory, the delight of Hashem of believing that. Hashem will give you a freebie, a chesed. It's going to be great. Just be happy. They will find it very hard to do, even if they believe it. The answer to this question and to this expression, I don't know who this is. I think Shmelko or something. Shmuel. There was a soldier. They gave this soldier a fantastic thing. They let him go five miles out of the city, and he will be the first one that when the Melech, when the king is coming to the city, he'll be the first one to greet him. So he's waiting outside. It's 90 degrees, 100 degrees. He's sweating. He's sweating. He's sweating. He's sweating. He's sweating. And the king didn't come. He's late. So he, he was all schwitzed up. So Yared Achayel Lirchoitz Ma'at Benar. He went to go and and clean himself and to refresh himself a little bit in the spring, into the Nahar. Upisayim beYosei Arum. And suddenly, as this soldier is nebuch naked, Hayfiyah Hamalech, the Melech appears. Vahayyeh beMavucha Gedayla Ma Alav Lasayis. And he had a terrible problem. What am I supposed to do? Ha'im lehischamik b'pnei Hamalech. Am I supposed to swim away, take a deep breath, and go underwater and hope that the king doesn't see me? Or I got to stand in front of the king the way I am. On the one hand, I'm so scared. I just want to run away. I want to make sure the king doesn't see me. But on the other hand, how can I give up this covet? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to go ahead and to see the king. And maybe he had a personal bakasha that he needed from the king. It was an unbelievable time of his life. But what am I supposed to do? I'm naked. What am I supposed to do? The hichlet, and he was machlet, he decided. It's not shaykh that I am going to give up on this opportunity to be makabal the pnei amelech. I, I can't give this up. And he stood naked in front of the king and the entourage gave attention and he's standing there naked the way he was. 
the Hamelech, but the king was smart. She hear Gishmi Kamash as Chalil as Beliboy. The Melech felt and understood with this whole this whole Shaila, this whole question, everything in the heart of this of this soldier. Now he was so impressed because he realized the guy could have swam away, but he couldn't swim away because he wanted me. He wanted to be close to me, and he was willing to be mavayish himself and and under terrible circumstances to stand before me the way that he is. I'm so proud of him, and he gave him a medal of honor. I hope he didn't pin it on him. I hope he put it like around his neck. Ish Yehudi, same thing with a Yid. Kishaboyim ayom maktoshim. When the yom maktoshim come, umoitzim oisay kushu orim vartile mikol comes Rosh Hashanah, like the, the king suddenly appears. All of a sudden, Rosh Hashanah, boom, it's here, and we feel that we're orim, we're naked, we, we, we have nothing. Tafkidoy lahargish chayvus ayom. Our tafkid, our goal is to be margish to feel the demands of the day. Ule his yatev befanav yizbarach kimoish shuhu and to stand. To stand in front of Hashem the way we are, lim roishu arim, even though in spite of the fact that we're naked, v'yitzapa l'rachem ishemayim she is kabel be'ahavam. We should hope and wait for rachem ishemayim that Hashem will be mekabel us be'ahavu ki kadosh hayoyim ladinayin because it's a holy day before Hashem. That's our job. Our job is lim rois in spite of the past to realize that we have to stand to be mamal Hashem. And now he takes it mamish to the highest level. Zion, the Alpiha Omer, according to what we said, Yivur Maimar Akasav. Now we can explain the pasuk. Glo Hibit Avin BeYakov, Vlei Ra Omer BeYisrael. Hashem does not look at the Averis of Yaakov, and He doesn't see the rebelliousness of Klal Yisrael. Hashem Elikov Imoy. Hashem, our God, is with them, with us. Usuras Melech Boy, and the friendship of the King is with them. The Lachayr Tmua, one. Klu Mash Repanim Yesh Lefanim Yisbarach Sheinu Mabit Avin BeYakov. What are you saying over here? How could you say, what, what kind of business is this? Hashem, Hashem doesn't look at the Averis of Yaakov. How can that be? Two, B'chein kasha ma'amarim z'chanin l'vracha. Kala o'ymer ha'kadosh baruch hu vatran, yivatru chayev. The Gemara says that whoever says that Hashem is a vatran, that Hashem doesn't look and doesn't care about the Averis that we do, we, we, we give up our lives. There's no such thing. We explained this already in a different place. Listen to what he says. Why is it that Hashem does not look at the Averis of Klal Yisrael? Because Hashem is with us. At the moment that he does an Averu, and he fulfills his Taiva, and he doesn't have the ability, the strength to withstand the it's a heart that is burning inside of him. Gam oz levavoy nikraboy. At that moment, his heart is torn to shreds. Eich ani oise davashu hu neged ratzen Hashem alikai. Every yid on some level feels bad. It says from the Rebbe Reb Zisha, I think it was, that he saw that every yid, when you do an Averi, you create a malach. He says that they will never find a full, complete malach that was created from an Averi done by a yid. There's always a part of you that regrets it, that doesn't want to, that wishes you wouldn't do it. So, Hashem alikavimai. Hashem is inside of your kishkes. Hashem is with you. You're bound to Hashem. And you're saying, how did I do this? How can I do such a thing? A yid does an avera, he feels bad. Even when he does so many averas that he thinks he doesn't feel bad anymore, it's really because he can't handle how much, how bad he really feels. But he feels bad. And that's the best part. But now he's going to say even more. Not just Lehibatam and Biyakov, you know why? Because Hashem Alekavi Moi Bishah Sachet, but listen to Nachab Shat, Matam Lehibatam and Biyakov, why does Hashem look away from the Averis of Yaakov? He doesn't look at us. He doesn't care about our Averis. Mishum, Shah Hashem Alekavi Moi, because now, the Hainu, Shegam Achere Shechata, who Shuv Mistabik Ba Hashem Alekav. Usuras Malach Boi, Lashin Reus Vudvekus Vadvekus Hazois, Mitaheres Umichaperes. If after the Yid doesn't have Averis, he feels disconnected, and then he doesn't reconnect. So then we have a problem. But if after the Avera he says, I don't care what I did, I didn't want to do it, I'll deal with that at a different time. But I am now reconnecting my plug into the outlet, and he goes and he davens, and he learns with a fire, with a bren. So then, lehibit avam b'yakev, why? Hashem doesn't look at Averis. Why? Because Hashem alikavimai, because now you're reconnected to Hashem. And when you're mechubar l'tahar is tahar, when you're mechubar to Hashem, dveikas hazois, mitaheres u mechaperes. When you bring the, yourself into that mikvah, you become tar. You connect to Hashem, you become tahar. 
And therefore, the connecting to Hashem after the Chet is metaher, metaher you, is metaheris u mechaberis. And therefore, your connection, your friendship to Hashem is rekindled. Lamashal, if a person has a court case and he had a big fight with the judge, then he's in trouble. But if he goes ahead and before the, they go back into Paskin, he takes them out and they play golf and they do whatever it is and they become a renewed and inspired friendship, that connection is metaher mechaber. The Maral says, that anybody who's connected to Hashem, Memela just on its own, by being connected to Hashem, the Averis separate from you, they float away. The person has a lot of mud on him and it's stuck on him, and he goes and he sits in a bath. He sits there long enough that you don't have to clean it, that it just deteriorates and it floats away from you. Your person who is connected to Hashem, that virus cannot stick to him. How does the Yetzahara come and prosecute Kla Yisrael? By getting us away from there. Because if we're there and we're connected, he has nothing to say. So he creates mechitzes of, of barzel. Iron mechitzes. Iron walls. Metal mo- walls. That block us out. And we can't go ahead and connect to Hashem. Not tkiyos. And through the power of the tkiyos, shoyvin umavatlan is kolam askam mechitzes. That blasts away. It's like dynamite. It blasts away all of the walls that block us. Through blasting through the walls, we could feel again the kirva, the closeness to Hashem. Like we just said, nothing bad can happen to us when we're connected to Hashem. And therefore, we blow away the things that are, that are disconnecting us, like I do in Twisted Parenting, we drop bombs on the things that connect us, and therefore you're connected, and therefore everything is fine. This is a tremendous chizuk, and a help, and a medicine to the machshavis that are jumping around in our minds of those who think deeply. He knows his terrible situation. From head to toe, from head to toe, we're messed up. And he's saying, I'm trying to be Miramas to the things that we do from head to toe, things from Inyani Bris Kaidish, Vat Pagami Raishai, Pigme Raishai, Deus Vayamuna. From head to toe, the things that we do wrong in, in Machshava and in thinking things that are wrong and not having proper emunah and Hashem, and then actions that we do wrong. So, how can we connect to Hashem, Hari, Ein Ur Mistabik Vibaruch? That's what Avraham Avinu told Eliezer. You're not going to be able to marry my... Your daughter can't marry my Yitzchak because Ein Aram is Tabak Mubarach. A curse does not connect to a blessed. So we are cursed and so dirty. How can we connect to Hashem? So what's the tshuva? Tshuva al-zeh al-pi ma'amorim z'chani l'vrocha b'medrash rabba. The medrash says, Allah Pasuk. The Pasuk tells us, Hain Esav ish soyir v'anoichi ish chalak. Esav is... Harry and I, Yaakov, is smooth. That Hashem's chelik is with Yaakov. It's a marshal of, a, of a, a smoothie, a smooth guy, a bald guy with no hair, and a hairy guy. They were standing at the edge of a granary. And the kites, the, what's that called? The mites. The... the, moitz, the the stuff that floats away, that got tons of it came going, and it got caught in the hair of the hairy guy. Allah mites bekereach, and on the, on the other hand, the the mites, the shmutz went ahead and got stuck on the bald guy. He wipes it right off. Zok the medrash came esav harasha. Mislachich ba'avoyin is kolashana ve'ein le'bemashi yichaper. Esav harasha he is mislachich. He's stuck in those averis all year. He's wallowing around in Chet all year. The Eilat B'Melashi is It sticks into him. Aval Yaakov, and interesting, Yaakov doesn't say doesn't do Averis. Yaakov does Averis also. Aval Yaakov, Mislachich B'Avoyin is Kol HaShana, Uvo Yoyim HaKippurim, V'Yesh Le'i B'Melashi is Chaper. What's Pshat? Habir B'Kavanosim Zuchayin L'Vracha? Achat Toim Shel Yaakov, Einoi Be'etzem, Ela B'Mikra. The Averis of Yaakov are not Be'etzem, they're not the essence of who we are. 
Ella b'mikra, it's only by happenstance. It's only by stuff happening that, that we do things that we don't want to do. Etzem muhusa shel yakrev toiv v'rakshi yitzra hizgabra lo v'nikshu ba'avonis. The essence, the muhus of who we are, our essence is good. And the only time we do Averis is only if the Yitzhar is miskaber alav, v'nichshal ba'avaynais. Kimurum is b'pasuk. Shuvah Yisrael ha'adashem alikecha. Return Yisrael ha'adashem alikecha. Kikoshalta ba'avaynecha. Return Yisrael ha'adashem alikecha all the way to Hashem because you stumbled with your sins. How could we return to Hashem? Look at all the Averis. Pirish, no. Bekoichacha lo shuvah ha'adashem alikecha. You have the ability to return mamish ha'adashem alikecha. You know why? Because you didn't sin. It's only stumbling. It doesn't change who you really are. You're like the bald guy that you can just wipe it off. Comes Yom, Yom Kippur, and we are reconnected to Hashem. That's how you get Kapara. I am black, but I am beautiful. Right? This is a Makar. Black is beautiful. I am black, but I am beautiful. When there is no um, any anything good to say about me, when I'm against, I see all of the terrible averis. That is pesha. Be'ain me'lutz yosher, be'ain the pchinas of ayin that I am nothing. That is my me'lutz yosher to defend me. Mul maged pesha against all the keneged hakatrugim amashachot to b'mal b'merit neged neged kvod yisbarach against all the averes that I did. Ki inyan is patlus who dveikus kumura b'Hashem. The concept of being mavatal myself is really connecting completely to God. That's how I'm bottled. The chala mechubur tahar is tahar. Anybody who's mechubur connected to tahar is automatically tahar. That's why we bow down. When we do the avoda in Yom Kippur and by Aleinu Rosh Hashanah, we do hishtach which is a very weird thing. We don't usually do that. What's pshat hishtach We bow. It's not a bow. It's more than that. We prostrate ourselves on the floor. Ki pirish hishtach hu hachna. When a person is standing in front of something so awesome, it's mamish, all of your zikh, all of who you are, leaves you, and you fall on the ground. You're nothing, you're lying, you're dirt. You're on the ground. Who? that's what it is. It's that mamish, mamish, physically, I'm actually nothing in front of God. I show physically that I am nothing in front of Hashem, and therefore I'm connected to Hashem. Everything happened in the schos of bowing. The only reason Avram got back from Har Maria from Shechem Yitzchak B'Shalim was he bowed. Yisrael le nigel el b'schus shtachavoya, etc., etc. Atayir le nigel el b'schus shtachavoya. Gol you say in Mskatsa b'schus shtachavoya shnem and shtachavul Hashem ha'kodesh b'yushalayim. Based on Migdash le nigel el b'schus shtachavoya. Everything that we have comes from the schos of prostrating and bowing. Why? The most, the helix dezach, the greatest thing you can do is out. I'm out. I don't stand. I can't sit. I'm on the ground. Because if you connect it to Hashem, the more you connect to Hashem, you can be zaycha to every single madrega. Everything comes from that. So what we see over here is that Rosh Hashanah, the pshat is, and the essence of Rosh Hashanah is to connect to God. We feel like we can't connect to God because of our virus. That's a trick of the Yitzhahara. We have to connect to God limroys in spite of all the avarice that we have. We have to stand before Hashem even if we're naked no matter what and we have to connect and connect and connect because when we connect therefore we 
are mechubal atar. Kala mechubal atar atar. Din doesn't happen on someone who's connected to, to Hashem. And therefore, we can have faith that we're going to have a fantastic new year.